You can tell by the way they're acting they don't think it's a suicide. Cliff, it's no use. We can't go on. We've got to tell them. Gene, now do as I say. You've got to keep your mouth shut. It's our only chance. You don't know the police like I do. Come on, Romeo and Juliet. The chief wants to see you. Come on. Mr. Howe brought me a letter to you from Mr. Hall. Well, I don't understand. Why should he write me a letter? It was to be delivered to you after his death. I'd like you to read it. Do you mind if I read it aloud? No, oh, go ahead. Dear Jean, once upon a time, many years ago, I amused you for hours by crawling on all fours with you on my back. Now you know the other afternoon was not our first meeting. Small wonder, then, I may have appeared to you like some strangely remembered ghost from the past. That past reaches back to when I was a mining engineer in a project with your grandfather. It was then I met your mother. I shall not try to tell you my feelings for her. I shall only tell you that I loved her more than all the world. Shall I go on? Yes. Yeah. My case was quite hopeless from the start. She had already fallen in love with another man, your father, a charming, delightful man. 